Okay, so I got some vote keys that I'm gonna be opening. Uh, it's in this chest right here. So I'm gonna open both of them and see what I get. So the first one, I got 20,000. The second one, I got protection one, full set. Now we're gonna be opening the uh, common key with king. So there he is. Bam! Common key, 20k. That right. sucks. Bowls. What about me? I got Pro 3 uh, Diamond. Oh, oh, you can combine it with your YouTuber and you get Pro 4. That's actually kind of good. Yeah. Alright, so it's not that bad. So Did he legit make an AFK pool S1? He did? Yeah, look. It's like... Wee, 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 wee. Alright, well then. <laughs> well, Join me, Dan. No. Alright, so we're going to be getting this keys every, what, like two days? Every uh, three days. Every three days, but the vote keys you get it every time you vote for the server. So, so we'll like every three days we'll have about nine vote keys if we vote every day. Yeah. So then we'll so. be opening them. Like not every. bad. And all we have like ten keys, so Yeah. So uh yeah. Now we're gonna be showcasing our new base and I'll see you guys there. Now you you may be asking why we we built the new base. This is what happened to our last base. It got completely raided. Um, you said three withers, right? You said yeah, there was about three withers here. And a little faction named Denial, or Pepsi's faction, had to use three withers to get in. Still didn't get all the chests. I mean, like, scrubs. Yeah. Um, they actually left a whole bunch of potions, which I got later on. And I put it in my other vault. So. Yeah, I mean, they raided us, but they didn't really raid us. It kind of made it look ugly, yeah. but in the sense of actually taking stuff, they took barely anything. Yeah, like when I got on, there was another wither that was still on, surviving. But, uh... I'm a survivor! Yeah. Doo -doo. Oh, they actually left some potions right here. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, whatever, we'll take that later. So, now we're gonna show you our new base, which I highly doubt will get raided. Yeah, this one took me a long time. Now, yeah. VV, no one else built this except me, but I did have um his help. Like, it, nothing was possible without him. I mean, he's like the main man. Um, wait, so how did, how did they rate this base? Well, uh, well I can't TP it away. Basically, one of our faction members named VV, <laughs> Diamond, left, made a faction and gave them the cords. Now, although the cords may not seem a lot, it really is, especially since it's really easy to rate, because we only had one wall. And also, we had a little insider named Simple Emerald, if you're watching, thank you for inciting us. Um, it's basically TP them inside, and that, so, th they had one guy outside, made the wither, and they TP'd inside, and then the wither aggroed and went inside the base. Just because they were inside and got TP'd in. So it was all mainly simple, simples and VV's fault. Yeah. So that's why we made a new faction if we put FU. Uh, Catdemic. We have four people in the faction as of now. So, like, a GG faction? Yeah. Uh, but all of the people in the faction are really trusted, so they're gonna have yeah. access to this other base. Some of them. Yeah, I about to say, I don't trust all of them. Well, if you want to go ahead and go to our new base. Alright, it's a home new base. Okay. Oh, I just fell and died. Nice. That's how you know it's a good base, when you can fall and die. Yeah, this base is massive. Yeah, it's a bedrock to sky limit. And I'm not going to say where, but if you can guess where, you might get a little money if you can guess where it is. Yeah. So. Alright, so first we have this massive cactus farm. How many? We just built this like a couple hours ago. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it really wasn't that hard to build, but it, just it was took like. took long. Yeah. And you can, you, can, you can tell one thing our fingers are hurting. Because, yeah. I mean, we had to break the wood, then we have to um, place it, and just, uh, just bothering. Yeah, and there's a lot of layers. Yes, in all oh, there's like 20, 30 layers. Yeah. I mean, 
not that many, but at the same time, though, enough to make us good money. Yeah. And now, Dan, if you'll follow us up to the top, please. Oh, you're ahead of me. Yeah. That's never good. Oh, I'm so slow. Okay, well, so we got some bits that are. It's basically there. our chest and <laughs> our enchanting table of doom. Now our chest room is more or less just a storage room as of now, but we're soon going to get kind of a storage room like we had before. That by the way they could not get into. Well, they tried, but they didn't. So we'll probably gonna set that up maybe three, four in this room, and then four more on top. So it'll be about eight people living in this space. At the most. Probably six at least. And if you could just keep on going up down. Okay. So there's like two floors for uh chests. Yeah. It took so much wood, like legit. Yeah. Alright, so right here we have another farm. And now this is how we get gaps. <laughs> yeah. And tons of money. But our real money maker is up there. Yeah. So, uh, I see pigmen, spawners, zombie, skeletons. To be exact, seven pigmen, twelve skeleton, and about four zombie. Yeah, so now if we go over here, we have one iron golem. Hey, you sound like that's a bad thing. That's really it's good. good. To have one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be putting way more over here, but um, here there's a nave K pool, and this basically triggers the iron golem and the spawners below it. Yeah, and we get tons of money off this. I think last night alone, um, three hundred k. Yeah. So this is so. And we both AFK like in the cactus farm and this. Like if he AFKs the farm down there and I AFK the uh, mob grinder, then we probably can make about half a million each yeah. knot. And that alone is amazing. Most people can't do that. Now, there's a lot of room left. If and I'm dying. <laughs> uh, need help? Uh, I got it, I think. Alright, so. <clears throat> On top of this, there's a whole bunch of room left. So, uh, what are we gonna do with that room? Honestly, I mean, we have so much room, and with these big bases, so much gets wasted. Honestly, I might make a cow grinder just because we have so much room. Yeah, I mean, not because, I mean, it doesn't make us that much money. I mean, like, it makes us 9k, it's a full inventory of leather, so not really much. I mean, nine stacks of, um, Iron gives us oh. enough, like, is converted into an inventory full of leather. So it's not really worth it. But at the same time, though, I mean, what else are we supposed to put up there? Yeah, so we're going to figure out what we're going to put up there later. And put we in the comments what we should put up there. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be looking for a raid or something else to do in this episode, and we'll be back. So I guess we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so we might have found a raid. King, uh, how do you find this? If okay, it's so you use slash wild and you get sent out to the border. Now, I was looking around hoping that I'd find something and I did slash near because, well, I'm OP. So I saw a name, well, not saw it, but it said there's one about 173 blocks. Now, I think that it's either a, a, um, air chest vault because it's not claimed to have map or a, Underwater one. Now I doubt this underwater because I mean only noobs do that. I actually think it's underwater because if you see entities, it's thirty entities. So I'll go on the bottom. I'll bet oh you yeah, 5K. Okay. I bet you. <sighs> oh, I'll bet you five k. No, I'll bet you five k. And right. if I win, you owe me five k. All right, so I'll go on the bottom. You check top. Okay, I'll start going up. Why are we using sand? Like, are we really that bad at life using sand? We should have used obby. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we're not that rich. Nothing yet. Yeah, me either. Did I just hear... Wait, I hear... Fireworks. Yeah, that was me. Okay, I got really scared there. I was like, don't tell me he's back. 
Still nothing. You actually might be right here, Dan. Yeah. Well, I'm not finding anything either. No, oh god. I didn't, I didn't find anything, so... I might die here. The sand glitched. If I die, tell my children I really don't love them. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh no, I'm a lagging. No, I timed out. Dude, if you find it for me, well, if you do find it, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna blow some of this place up to see if I can find it. And that is a good tactic. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I don't think it's up here. I mean, there's nothing nearby. Home, turn my rear distance up. Oh shit, I turned it way too high. Nearly lagged. Oh shit, TV! <laughs> you owe me freaking 5k, man. No, you got it? Yes! <laughs> Give me that 5k! Oh no, I can't! I'm not high enough, I need blocks. Shit. Things are blocked. Dude, what if they have an underground base too? And we're both right. Maybe. Wait, um, then who gets the money? We both get money. Yay, it's like Christmas, except not. Hold on, I'm not up there yet, but I turn my render distance up just in case. Okay, so I'll check, because there's 30 entities, so there's has to yeah. be. Yeah, what well, if they have like a cow spawner and shiz down there? Maybe. Hey, it, they do, that's a great raid. I guess... Um, okay, I'm getting closer. Uh, it's so far away. And, ugh, it's only like eight chests. What a scrub. Yeah, it's probably not even that good. Yeah, I accepted. Oh, wait, let me TP it again. Oh. Oh no, why am I lagging when I get near the base finally? Like, why? Tell me when you're here, I can disconnect oh, and reconnect. TP again, TP again. Ugh. Dang it. Of course I have to lag when we get to it. You're gonna get all the loot, and I'm gonna be there like a sad chomp. And I'm just gonna cry. Oh god, I accidentally opened the chest. There is Prop 4. I'll tell you that much. Prop 4? Yes. Dude, this is the ultimate raid. I'm so glad there, that guy was just up here like, What am I gonna do? Alright, wait. Let me check this. Random here, crap. you can... Right, Here, you crap. can check all the chests before I start taking stuff. Yo, there's 12 gapples. Ah, uh, you can have them. You're a scrub. I just want the armor, on, honestly. Yo, there's spawners. Dude, what top? What top? Um, two zombie and six cow spawners. I knew they had a cow. Like, my fucking luck, they actually do have a cow. What, who put spawners in their vault? No, just put them in your PV. So much safer, easier, and... Wait, this might be... X, the green flame sex, uh, base. True. Cause but... His head is here. Or... But it's E-Karma's axe is in here. Uh oh. Maybe a <gasps> Maybe Karma... Killed... XX. <laughs> it's unlikely. They are in our faction, though, so... Thing on the bright side. Uh, there's a book by... Karma. <laughs> Read it. The story of a lot of them. He, oh, he was sexy. Okay then. <laughs> Wait, I want to hear it. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> uh, uh, you can read it. Okay, let me read it. Yo, this is actually really good. Here, give it to me. Where are you? It's in this chest right here. By Karma V. Story of Big Dog. I loved him. He was sexy. And all what- Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Wait, how what the hell? Wait, did anyone else have- <laughs> So this may be one of Karma's fault. <laughs> we just raided our own faction member. <laughs> GG. <laughs> well, I guess we need to ask him when that happens. But yeah, when I did uh, Smash Player, it started with a B. So I doubt- Maybe they raided Karma? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Um, it's not that bad. It has. Yeah, I mean, prop for a gap. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not really a good raid. A good raid would be like dubs a prop for, yeah. and like, 
Hey, are, you want this uh sword in here? I don't really need it. Oh, you already took it, you scrub. <laughs> you took everything. Yeah. <laughs> you are such a scrub. That's Where's mine? Oh, I'll take this iron. That's uh one k there. There, five k. Um, thank you. But this is actually a very well. Small. I mean, if you want, we can pause the video here and look down to see if we do find a base. Yeah, let's check down there. Maybe there's okay. a base. Because it's pretty weird how entities are, like, so high. Yeah, I guess let's... We'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, so we couldn't find anything underground. Uh, so we put a whole bunch of TNT all over around. So we're going to make a bet. 10k, whoever dies first. And we're probably going to lose all our stuff, so yeah. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. So, ladder up. I'm eating a gapple. Um... Oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, I need a that, torch. That, you f no, place it next to it, like right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. right here. There. Alright, yeah. you stand in your corner. I stand in mine. I don't want to record. 10k to whoever dies. Fancy yeah. ping to us, the owner. Let's see what he does. Go! Well, then. Did you die? Yeah. I didn't die! <laughs> it's because I jumped down. <laughs> well then. Wait. Except. <laughs> Banty bees at the last moment just seeds all of it. Dude, that was amazingly dumb. Yeah. Did we find it? Wait. Check if there's any base. Because. No. Yes, there is the biggest base in the world here. It's like. <gasps> Ooh. I hear zombie spawners. No, you don't. Oh my god, he stopped it. Yeah, I think we lagged out the server. <laughs> uh, well, I lost all my stuff, which is fun. <laughs> Either way, I get 10k, so I'm happy. Well, here's your 10k. Thank you. Uh, By the way, j there's now 52 entities, and they're all this way. So, you want to get a pick and mine that way? Uh, yeah. We'll check if there's anything there, and if there is, then we'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, if there's not, then we'll probably just end out the episode, say, all this, like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we exploded even more, and we found a cave full of mobs, so that's what the entities was. And there was no base. Well, if there was, we didn't find any. And, um, yeah, uh, King. Uh, well, I got 15k, so I'm winning right now. I got the armor, so I mean, everything's good in the hood. We got a good raid, we have some gaps now, and I might be coming a mod soon on the server, so uh -huh. who knows? Maybe we can dick around with that a little bit. Um, yeah, so, like always, if you comment your IGN, I will pick the winner, and the winner will get 10,000. The winner of this uh, episode was the boy. Uh, send him 10,000, please, because I only have 6,000. <laughs> and if you say your favorite color and you tell us what we should put on top of the uh, uh, grinder, then you might get an extra chance to get 20k. Wait, can, uh, can you send me 10k real quick, real quick, please? <laughs> Someone's a little poor, aren't they? Yeah. Here, I'll pay you. 30k. That way, the winner that gives us a good idea for the uh, thing can get 20k. Uh, well, the boy quit the server, so. <laughs> Just keep the 10k and give it to someone random that you think needs it. Um, give it to Chris. He, he's a new player. He oh deserves gosh, it. Chris, oh, 10k. You can always oh, pay me the 10k. So, okay. we did a good deed today. I mean, that's pretty fun. Yeah, so, like, always comment. And you can get easy 10k, like that's the easiest 10k you could get. And if you say a good idea for what we should put on top of the spawners, who knows, maybe you can get an extra 20k. Yeah. Alright, so that's all for uh, episode number 3. Now we're going to be posting Factions episodes every other day. Uh, and we'll hopefully keep this consistent. So, uh, yeah. So I'll be watching that Wednesday. Yeah. See or, uh, Yeah, bye. Okay, before I forget, uh, King Hobbit has something to uh, say.
Um, my friend Karma's Wrath is the one that gave us that Iron Golem Splinter. So if you could go subscribe to his channel, Karma's Wrath, that'd be really cool. He might be doing a YouTube series on here. So try getting him to maybe 100, and he can get the YouTube rank. And he'll play, and he'll help us. So that will be really fun. So please subscribe, and thank you all for watching. And leave a comment below for the whole winning contest thingy, my hicker. Yeah, see you later.